Hey there, fellow travelers, it's Rick Steves here. Today we're talking about a trip many folks love to take in Thailand. It's the journey from Bangkok to Pattaya. This route is super popular. Lots of people do it every day. Why? Well, Bangkok is the big city where most visitors start their Thai adventure. And Pattaya? It's a fun beach town that's not too far away. Getting from Bangkok to Pattaya is easy. There are many ways to do it. You can take a bus, ride in a minivan, or even rent a car. Each way has its good points. Some are cheap, some are fast, and some give you more freedom. In this guide, we'll look at all these options. So let's get started on planning your Thai travel adventure. Pattaya is a place that many travelers fall in love with. It's easy to see why. This city by the sea has so much to offer. First, there are the beautiful beaches. The sand is soft and the water is warm. You can spend all day relaxing by the sea if you want. But there's more to do than just sunbathe. Pattaya has lots of fun water sports too. The city has great shopping malls where you can buy all sorts of things. There are also many restaurants. You can try tasty Thai food or find familiar dishes from home. At night, Pattaya comes alive with bright lights and music. There are shows to watch and places to dance. Pattaya is also a good place to learn about Thai culture. You can visit temples and see beautiful Thai art. One of the best things about Pattaya is that it's close to Bangkok. It's a great way to escape the big city for a while and enjoy some beach time. Now, let's talk about taking the bus from Bangkok to Pattaya. This is often the cheapest way to make the trip. It's great if you want to save money. There are many buses that go to Pattaya every day. They leave from different bus stations in Bangkok. The main ones are the Eastern Bus Terminal, also known as Ekamai, Northern Bus Terminal, which is Mochit, and Southern Bus Terminal, called Sai Tai Mai. The Eastern Bus Terminal is the most popular for this trip. Buses leave from here very often. You can find a bus almost every hour. The trip takes about two hours, depending on traffic. These buses are usually big and comfortable. They have air conditioning, which is nice in the Thai heat. Some even have toilets on board. You don't need to book ahead. You can just show up and buy a ticket. One thing to remember about bus travel is that it can be affected by traffic. But don't worry, the bus drivers know the best roads. Let's move on to another popular way to get from Bangkok to Pattaya, minivans. These are smaller than buses, but bigger than cars. Minivans are a great choice if you want something faster than a bus. They can zip through traffic more easily. This means you might get to Pattaya a bit quicker. Minivans usually take about two hours for the trip, sometimes less. You can find minivan services at the same bus terminals we talked about earlier. They also leave from some other spots in Bangkok. One popular place is Victory Monument. This is easy to get to if you're staying in central Bangkok. Minivans leave more often than buses. Sometimes you only have to wait 15 or 30 minutes for the next one. Minivans are usually a bit more expensive than buses, but they're still pretty cheap. The price difference isn't huge. Inside the minivan, things are cozy. You sit closer to other travelers. This can be fun if you like to chat. Section 5. Renting a car. Freedom on the road. Now, let's talk about renting a car to drive from Bangkok to Pattaya. This option gives you the most freedom. You can leave when you want and stop where you like. It's great if you want to explore on your way to Pattaya. Maybe you want to see some sights that buses don't stop at. With a car, you can do that easily. You can rent a car at Suvarnabhumi Airport when you arrive in Thailand. There are also car rental places in Bangkok City. To rent a car, you need a valid driver's license from your home country. Some places also ask for an international driving permit. It's a good idea to get one before you leave home. Driving in Thailand is on the left side of the road. This might be different from what you're used to. The drive from Bangkok to Pattaya is pretty straightforward you'll mostly be on big highways. The signs are in Thai and English, so it's easy to find your way. The trip usually takes about two hours. Section 6. Taxi Services, Door-to-Door -door Comfort. Let's look at another way to travel, taking a taxi from Bangkok to Pattaya. This is probably the most comfortable option. 
It's like having your own private driver. You get picked up right at your hotel in Bangkok. Then, you're dropped off exactly where you want in Pattaya. No need to worry about finding your way around or carrying your bags far. Taxis in Thailand come in different types. There are regular taxis, which are usually small cars. These are fine for one or two people with not too much luggage. Then there are bigger taxis, sometimes called limousines. These are more spacious and good for groups or if you have lots of bags. You can book these taxis at your hotel in Bangkok. There are also apps and websites where you can book them in advance. The taxi ride from Bangkok to Pattaya usually takes about two hours, but it can be faster or slower depending on traffic. The good thing is, you're in a comfortable car the whole time. You can ask the driver to stop if you need a break. Section 7. From Suvarnabhumi Airport, Direct Routes Many travelers arrive in Thailand at Suvarnabhumi Airport in Bangkok. If you're one of them and want to go straight to Pattaya, you're in luck. There are several ways to make this trip directly from the airport. This can save you time and the hassle of going into Bangkok City first. Let's look at your options. First, there are bus services from the airport to Pattaya. These buses leave from the transport center, which is near the airport. You can get there by a free shuttle bus from the terminal. The buses to Pattaya leave every two hours. They're big, comfortable buses with air conditioning. The trip takes about two hours. Another option is to take a minivan. These also leave from the transport center. Minivans go more often than buses. You usually don't have to wait long for one. The trip in a minivan is a bit faster, about one and a half to two hours. This can be a good choice if you want to get to Pattaya quickly. Section 8, Train Travel, a Scenic Alternative. Now let's talk about a less common but interesting way to get from Bangkok to Pattaya, taking the train. This isn't the fastest way to travel, but it can be a fun experience. The train gives you a chance to see the Thai countryside. It's a good choice if you're not in a hurry and want to enjoy the journey. Let's look at what train travel is like on this road. Trains to Pattaya leave from Bangkok's Hua Lampong Station. This is the main train station in Bangkok. It's an old, beautiful building that's interesting to see. Trains don't go all the way to Pattaya City. They stop at a station called Pattaya Station, which is actually in Naklua, north of Pattaya. From there, you need to take a short taxi ride to get to Pattaya proper. The train journey takes about three to four hours. This is longer than other ways of traveling. But the time passes quickly as you watch the scenery go by. You'll see rice fields, small towns, and lots of green landscapes. The trains are basic but comfortable. They have fans or sometimes air conditioning. There are different classes of seats. Section 9. Comparing Travel Times Let's take a moment to compare how long each way of traveling takes. This can help you decide which option is best for you. Remember, these times can change depending on traffic and other factors, but they give you a good idea of what to expect. We'll start with the fastest options and move to the slowest. The quickest way to get from Bangkok to Pattaya is usually by minivan. These can make the trip in about one and a half to two hours. They're fast because they can move through traffic more easily than bigger vehicles. Next fastest is driving yourself in a rental car or taking a taxi. These usually take about two hours. Buses are next on the list. Most bus trips take about two to two and a half hours. The train takes the longest, usually three to four hours. But remember, this includes beautiful views that you don't get other ways. Some people choose the train just for the experience, even though it's slower. Section 10 cost considerations for different options. Now, let's talk about money. How much does each way of traveling cost? This is important for many travelers. We'll look at the options from cheapest to most expensive. Remember, prices can change, but this will give you a good idea. The cheapest way to get from Bangkok to Pattaya is usually by bus. Bus tickets are very affordable. They often cost less than 200 baht, about $6. Minivans are the next cheapest. They usually cost a bit more than buses, but still less than 300 baht, about 